morning everyone my name is Devin and I will be taking over ITA's Instagram story today to show you a day in my life teaching English online with da.abc from my home here in Philadelphia Pennsylvania um, I'm actually about to start my first class I have my blue shirt on ready to go so I'm going to leave a question box on the next slide so that while I am teaching you guys can ask any questions you may have about Dada and I will answer them when I'm done. All right, so I am officially done with my classes for the day, and now it's time to complete all of the feedback for each of my five classes that I did today. So with Dada, they just ask you to fill out the stars for class interaction, attention, enjoyment, willingness to speak, and willingness to learn. And then there's some prompts down here to discuss what you learned, um, what the children did good at today, and some areas where they need to improve. All right, so now my feedback is finished. Um, I usually teach six classes every weekday, but uh, my first student today canceled, so I only taught five today. Um, and I save all of my feedback until the end because I only have two minutes between classes with Dada, um, and I usually use that time to just get set up for the next class. But yeah, I'm done for today. Um, I'm actually gonna run to the grocery store with my sister now um, and then when I come back I will answer all the questions that you guys had for me um, in the question box. So just a little bit about me. I took my TEFL course back in September of 2019 in Chiang Mai. Um, it was an in-person course with ITA's partner school located in Chiang Mai. Um, it was a four-week course and if any of you are interested in that or want to know more information I actually did a story takeover back in September to showcase a day in the life of what it would be like taking the course so you can find that on um, ITA's Instagram story highlights or you can check out their website if you would like to know more so prior to the pandemic I was living and teaching in Chiang Mai Thailand um, I taught at an international school, um, I was teaching kindergartners there, and I was also teaching online with Dada. Um, but once the pandemic started getting worse, I just decided I wanted to come home. So that's where I'm at. Uh, my plan is to ride this whole thing out with my family for the next while, and fingers crossed that um, it's not too long before we can all get back to traveling. So just a little bit more of a rundown about Dada. Um, I said earlier in, in a reply to a question that Dada assigns her classes. Each class is 30 minutes with two minutes and 30 seconds between each class. So there's not much time to do anything else in between. Um, and preparation is minimal. Um, I usually, at the end of my day, when I'm finished, I do my feedback and then I go look at my schedule for tomorrow and I preview each lesson. Just go through it real quick and see if there is anything I think I might need depending on the student and their level but it usually turns out I don't need anything extra um, and I just rely a lot on TPR, body language, body movements and I do have some props that I will show you now. So here is my little prop box that I keep on my desk. Um, I have some finger puppets. These come in handy a lot, especially if I have a trial class. Um, I do use these a lot. The kids love them because they're funny. So I have some finger puppets, um, some fake plastic fruit that comes in handy sometimes, some stuffed animals, a duck, and a little turtle. Um, I have these little smiley face... Oop these little smiley face magnets. Um, and I also have, it's dirty, but I have a whiteboard that I use mostly for my rewards. Wow. 
Here is a better view of my teaching background. Um, dot dot does require you to have a eye-catching, fun, interesting, and or educational background. When I was in Thailand, I only had the ABCs and then these little um, subject stickers, and that was fine. But um, once I got home and knew that I wasn't going to be traveling around and wouldn't have to worry about um, taking things with me when I traveled, um, I decided to just spruce it up a little bit using things I already had around my house. So I had these lights already, this little sign, the fake plant, and this little um, blow up globe that I got at Target before I went to Thailand. So I feel like I covered a lot of the basics. Um, it's a beautiful day out here, so I am going to get out from behind this desk and get outside, get some fresh air. But I will continue to answer any questions you guys may have um, about Dada ABC, teaching English online in general, or um, teaching English in Thailand or Chiang Mai. Yes, I know what you mean. There are so many options and it is really overwhelming. Um, I decided to go for a cheap and guaranteed option. So I have this Logitech headset that I got at Target for 20 bucks. It is, has a USB.